Hi and welcome to this DCP Word tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to download and install Blender 2.93 LTS. Okay, let's go ahead and open up the web browser and we want to go to the Blender website. So we're just going to type in blender.org and we can see Blender 2.93. This was recently released and it's the LTS version, which is the long term support version. So we'll go ahead and click on this blue download button and we'll get presented with this screen. You can read a bit more about the new version here so you can click on see all features and check out what's new in Blender 2.93. It's quite interesting, go and have a little look, look at this link. But at the top here, you'll see that it says Windows installer. So the browser's detected what sort of version of operating system I'm running. So it's giving me the Windows installer for Blender 2.93. If for any reason you see a different operating system, so if you're on a Mac but you see Windows here, you can always click on the drop down here and download them directly from here. But in theory, you should see either Linux, Windows or Mac OS written here for the relevant operating system that you're working on. So let's go ahead and download Blender 2.93 and we'll just push this to one side and we can see that it's downloaded it's 183 megabytes i've got a pretty fast connection so this should shouldn't take too long to download i'm um, almost halfway there now uh, don't forget to contribute or you know if you want to uh, make a donation to blender you know by all means do that i've made a donation previously so it's nice to make a little donation to blender if you have a little bit of spare change let's go ahead and close down this window norton's already scanned the software and says it's good to go so let's double click on this file and open up the launcher and it's preparing to install so we'll click next here and it will accept the terms and click next and then we'll click next one more time. You can change the directory path. I wouldn't advise that you do that, but you can change the directory path to a different drive if you want. Um, try and run this from your SSD will probably be the best location to install it. So it's going onto my C drive here. We'll click next and we'll click install. So we'll just wait for that to install. It doesn't take very long. Uh, my computer is fairly fast. So we'll just wait for this to copy all the files onto my computer and then we'll test Blender to make sure it's all functioning correctly and working the way that we expect it to work. So if you haven't used Blender before, if you're new to Blender, I'll put a link in the YouTube description to my playlist so you can go and learn about Blender. By no means am I an expert in Blender. I'm actually a web designer by trade, so that's what I actually do as a business. I run a website design company, but I like to experiment with 3D. So I'll put a link to all of my tutorials in the YouTube description. I'm just going to drag this on here because you, if you've ever watched any of my videos, you know my desktop's super clean. I like to keep it nice and clean. And we'll go ahead and click on the start menu. This is the new version of Blender we just downloaded. So I'm going to right click on it, go to more and then pin it to my taskbar so I can access it directly from the taskbar. Let's just drag that across to here and we'll click on it to load it up. So let's just see what's going on here. So we've got Blender 2.93, which is the latest version. And I'm just going to go ahead and click on general here. And we can just see the camera here. We can see our cube, our default cube, and our little light source. Everything seems to be working pretty well. We can zoom in and out. It's running super smooth at the moment. So everything seems to work well. We should just do a quick test render. I'm going to press F12. Let's just see that we can see our default cube here. So that's all working well. So obviously, this isn't a Blender sort of explanation of how to use the software. I'll put some links uh, to my playlist in the YouTube description where you can go and learn more about Blender uh, and create some nice animation work um, using Blender, right, for your business or for personal use. Let's go ahead and close down this Blender application. We'll click Don't Save. So that's how you go about installing the latest version of Blender, which is Blender 2.93 LTS. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel where you can access over 650 free video tutorials on a wide range of software sub subjects. Okay, that's the end of this tutorial and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.